hey there cancers welcome to the happy cancer tarot channel so um we are going to be doing a reading about someone that is presently on your mind we're going to be looking into the energy of this person that is on your mind and we're going to be seeing what their present energy so whenever you watch this reading this is how this person is presently doing and feeling when it comes to the connection with you all right um i'm in a different location so just the fyi in case you're wondering like your setup looks different it's because i'm in a different place all right so let's go ahead and let's get started we're gonna um see who is this person that you're thinking of oh the fighter they fight for who they love don't does not easily give up can be defensive at times when I parted the deck, the fighter. So that's right off the bat, you're dealing with someone that's a fighter. Fighter. You could be dealing with a fighter. Uh, <laughs> why would I say that again? You could be dealing with a fire sign, okay? Uh, this could be a Sag, Aries, or a Leo, because they are definitely some fighters, right? Um, but doesn't have to be, though. But you're definitely dealing with someone that is going to fight for this love. So whoever you're thinking of, Cancer, they're going to fight for you. Okay, then we have here Awaken and the Gold Digger. So what I am giving here, and look at here, under our energy, independent, independent. So this is making me feel like three different people. I feel like you may be ready to give up on this love though, Cancer. Uh, because I'm seeing here, yeah, this is you, the Loyalist. This came out last reading for you guys. You're feeling defeated. It says expects or accepts failure in love. So you may have accepted that this connection is over with. It says self-defeating attitude is standing in the way. This is someone you were holding out for. Someone you were holding on to expecting um, the two of you to come together. I can see why. Because this person has awakened. So at one point when you were dealing with them, they were not awakened. So that's probably why you gave up and thought that, you know, it wasn't going to happen for you. I'm seeing here the independent, which is coming through. So I'm seeing here that you're very independent. You may have only yourself to rely on. You take care of yourself. It says strong, successful, self-sufficient. You're not interested in playing games. You often intimidate your partners. And you're not doing this in, on purpose. You're not. You just do just because of who you are. And I'm getting here that this person that has awakened, it looks like they've awakened to someone that they've been dealing with. This is making me feel like a third party type of situation. So whoever you're thinking of when watching this video, again, they're going to fight for this connection now that they've woken up and they've seen someone that they were dealing with as a gold digger. It says, in relationships for the money, obsessed with status, manipulate others with looks and charm. This is who the person you're thinking of is dealing with. They're dealing with a gold digger. And they now see it. They now awaken to it. It says, is willing and ready to accept love. So they're ready to accept your love now that they see that there was a gold digger in their life. Now, don't think that this gold digger, for some of you, the gold digger can be a significant other. It could be representative of people in their life, people always coming to them for money. It could even be representative of a mother, a family member, sister, brother. This is just letting you know that there is some sort of third party interference. And that third party interference is attached with a gold digging attitude. They're making the journey back to love and romance, awakening their spirituality. So there's something awakening within this person when it comes to their spirituality. They may be looking at, at, at this love as something very um, spiritual to them. Let's see what they have to say. What does this person have to say that Cancer is dealing with? What do they have to say to Cancers? And then we're going to see how they feel about you. So they got two messages that came out, Cancers. And it says here, I'm see, didn't I look at here? Look at that. I'm ending my current relationship to be with you. So for some of them, it was a relationship with a gold digger. And they're ending it because they've awakened to this connection with you. They want to be with you. And then we have here 
very soon I'm going to sweep you off your feet. What did we see? I'm a fighter. Did, look, I want to win your heart. This person, oh my gosh, Kansas. Somebody, we're about to look into who this person is a little bit deeper. But very soon I'm going to sweep you off your feet. Very soon. They want to win your heart. I told you this person is going to be fighting for you. This person is in love. This person is in love. Remember, they're awakened to this love. They could have been in denial about it because they were consumed by whoever this gold digger is. All right, let's go ahead and get into this reading. We're going to see what's going on here. Yeah, there was definitely uh, multiple lovers. Some of you were definitely caught up in some sort of love triangle. Maybe you knew or didn't know about it. Tell me more about this person that's on Cancer's mind. We got, yeah, some of you could have worked with this person or they were dealing with someone that they worked with. I'm definitely getting here. Um, yep, yeah, didn't I tell you guys a fire sign, the King of Wands? I told you some of you are definitely dealing with the fire sign. Here's the gold digger. The Queen of yeah, Some of them were married to a gold digger, right? But I'm seeing here there's something about work. Maybe they have a business together or maybe you and this person work together. But there's some sort of significance around work. This is like workplace though. I'm not talking about working out the relationship. I'm talking about workplace. Something's going on in the workplace. So either they have some sort of like business or work project with this gold digger or they met them at work. Or there's something significant about the two of you when it comes to work to help you distinguish this person. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles and this work situation. I, I get here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is this is water energy all right through here. That Two of Cups and that Knight of Cups. I feel like some of you met this person at work. For others, if you didn't meet this person at work, they are talking to people. They are talking to people at work about their love, this Two of Cups, about their soulmate love for you and coming to you with that Knight of Cups. So Cancer, this person wants to show up and show out. Remember, I'm going to sweep you off your feet. Who sweeps you off the feet? The, uh, off the feet. The, I cannot talk today, guys. But who is coming to sweep you off the feet? That's what the Knight of Cups do. This is someone that's going to romance you, take you on dates, buy you gifts. This is a sweetheart. Whoever this person is, let me see what they're love like, the way that they love. I'm telling you, this person is really sweet. I don't know what you were dealing with in the past with this person. Because you, maybe you got them when they weren't awakened. But this awakened person is coming in and they're coming in to win you back with a lot of love. This is genuine. This is genuine. They're coming to win you back with a lot of love, attention, and affection. Like I'm seeing taking you out on a proper date. Showing you off. This is a fire sign for some of you or someone that embodies the fire energy. This is someone that's going to show you off. They're going to want their friends to know that they're with you. Their family to know that they're with you. They're going to make it public. Tell me this person's love language towards cancers. Because I'm getting here, guys, the energy that I feel is that this person is like love to the 10th power with you. Because remember, it even says here, when we were pulling about this person, what does it say, guys? It says here... Roll, it says they're making their journey back to love. Back to love. That means you. They're coming back to you. Their journey in love is leading them back to you. Uh-oh. We got... Uh, I'm not ready for that. Let me... Tell me about this person's love language when it comes to cancer. How is this person showing up in love towards cancers? Now, this is a heavy deck. And my, uh, we got here, I told, ch child back, I told you guys. <laughs> Look, oh my gosh. I love how God shows out. I'm going to have to show you guys this. Oh, the bride. Kansas. Look, your best friend is over here. So happy for you guys. I love the energy that's coming through in this reading for those who this is for. Look, I told you the gossiper often violates their partner's trust, discuss their love life to friends. Friends and family influence their love life. What did I tell you? 
Didn't I tell you they were they're going to show you off? This is God confirming for you all that this is who this person is. I told you they're gossiping about you. Didn't I tell you at work? They're talking to people about you, getting advice. Where can I take you? Because I'm seeing here someone is showing them some sort of place. I feel like for some of you, I'm giving here a vision of taking you somewhere. Someone that they work with is giving them some sort of plan on how to sweep you off your feet. And I already told you, they want to show you off to their family. They're talking about you to their family and friends. That's that fireside. They're really, because I feel an like anxious energy, like an excitement. Like I'm so excited. And that's what I'm saying. Like there's just so much love that this person has for you, but I'm also feeling anxious. It's like they can't wait to be with you. So even if they are slow to come back, I feel like it's because they're dealing with this gold digger. They really can't wait to romance you. And here's the survivalist. This is the first card that flipped out when I was telling you guys the deck was heavy and I put it back. It came back out. And I feel like this is coming back out to let you guys know this person was hurt in the past. It says been hurt often in the past, but still hopeful. They're careful who they give their heart to. They know perfection isn't love. I told you this person got hurt. This person got hurt. So this is someone that does believe in love. And that's what I'm saying. Like this person is really in love with you. And I said this is a soft person, like a, a sweetheart. Someone that truly is a sweet person, but got hurt. Their heart was broken. And they've kept their heart in this glass case. So that's probably why this person was slow with you, not opening up to you, maybe ghosting you because they felt mixed. So I don't feel like this is someone that was intentionally trying to be this way towards you. I just feel like this person got hurt. So they have a hard time opening up when it comes to love. Let's see what this gossip is about. We've been seeing that a lot where someone has been talking about you guys. Eight of Cups, so walked away. So that they're talking about you because they, they're telling someone that you walked away. And this is not some, they're not saying that you walked away because, you know, I'm not, because some of you did not physically stop the relationship. I feel like with the Eight of Cups, you were giving emotionally more than this person was giving to you. Because remember, this person is the survivalist, okay? They've been hurt, so they're not opening up their heart. We already see they had their heart in this case. That's why they're coming in to sweep you off your feet because they were not giving to you emotionally at all. You gave Eight Cups. What did they give? Right now they want to give you two cups on the Knight of Cups and so on. Now they want to sweep you off your feet. So I feel like they're talking to this person. That's why they're trying to come up with some sort of plan. What can I do to, you know, work things out with you? Because they feel like you have given up. Because they, they're, they're saying that you gave to the relationship. But they're telling this person, like, I really messed this up with cancer. Cancer has given up on me. we have here the three of wands at a distance for some of you this could be someone that's at a distance from you they see you in their future this is someone that's making plans guys whoever this person is they're making some sort of plan like I feel like buying something like I'm talking about this is what I'm getting here this person may be starting to invest in something like maybe buying some property buying some sort of land but it's attached to you it's like their vision this is what I'm getting this person has some sort of vision for their life and I feel like they want you to be in that vision but this vision has to do with expand expansion this vision has to do with expanding in their life, growing something in their life. And I feel like, like I keep hearing like a money portfolio. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a business savvy person. And again, the King of Wands showed up. So this is someone that's very ambitious, a natural born leader, a go-getter. And we already see this is coming through for the Three of Wands. I'm going to clarify that a little bit more. Tell me more about this Three of Wands energy. What are they looking to expand? We got journey. They they could be looking to move. I didn't. I, oh my 
God. Well, I told you guys, this person got money. This is a business person. This person is looking to, or they're looking to get into some sort of business to expand and become wealthy. They're, they're packing up and leaving. Here's the gift. Here is the gift, honey. Look at here, guys. So you, you're, they're kind of come with a gift. Like this is someone physically giving you a gift. And I'm going to see what this gift is all about too. But they're packing up. So I feel like this could be traveling overseas or something. There's some sort of travel and expansion too. Maybe they're traveling and looking for land because they're looking to, get, uh, you know, like I say, their portfolio. This is not someone that's broke. They're looking to add to their money. This is a business savvy person and they want to give you a gift, but I'm also seeing this person go on a journey. Like they're traveling somewhere. Maybe they're traveling for this land. Yeah, see, Ace of Wands, I'm telling you, this reading is a little bit challenging for me because I feel so much excitement and it's hard to channel because this person is so excited about the prospects of having uh, a future with you. Okay, so, yep, and yeah, because see, here comes Ace of Wands. I made the judgment. They're not going to let you go, whoever this person is. And we already saw they're a fighter. So even if you were to say no, or if you, you know, do not talk to them, they're going to come back around. Tell me more about this gift. That flipped in reverse. We got the Empress in reverse. Yeah, to see, this is you. There's, I, I'm seeing here the rural travel. They're gonna want to travel with you. Yeah, I feel like in order to unthaw your heart, because the Empress in reverse, my love comes with conditions now, okay? You don't have any unconditional love for this person. And I feel like in order to, you know, get you to be more open and receptive to them, they're going to give you a gift. This gift is going to do with travel. This is what this is about. This person is going to want to take you somewhere around the world. This is, and this is not, this is a, a vacation or something. This is not like a, uh, I mean, even though there's a lot of luggage, I don't feel like uh, this is about relocating. It could be for some, but I feel like this is more so about a long trip with just the two of you. And I feel like, you know what they're telling me? Some of you, this person may even send you a ticket. This may even be by train because they're showing me like different landscape. That's why I kept feeling like somebody's buying land, buying property, but I'm also seeing a train. So I feel like some of you may actually go on a train ride with this person uh, where you're traveling. I'm seeing you guys watching different, um, like I said, looking out the window, I'm just seeing like beautiful, beautiful um, landscape. So some of you may literally be traveling like by train, but I'm also getting here like them sending you the ticket and a gift and waiting for you to show up to see if you will come with them. Because I feel like they're going on this journey and they're wanting you to come with them. This is somebody that's looking to experience. This experience is something new. Like, it's very special. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a once-in-a-lifetime type of deal. Like, and what I mean by that is what they're looking to take you on is really expensive. Case in point, the wealthy man. I feel like this is going to be like a long vacation. So I would say like maybe two weeks, three weeks, like maybe even living in a whole nother country. I don't feel like this is going to be someplace local for the for you guys. So let's say you live in the U.S. This person may say, hey, let's go to uh, Greece. Let's say you live in Greece. They may say, hey, let's go to the U.S. Like I'm just saying like it's not going to be like a short trip that they're looking to take you on. This is a big gift. And this is an expensive gift. And they want to share this experience with you. Yeah, see here, we got the Knight of Pentacles. See, and that's the thing about this Knight of Pentacles. Look at here, the Four of Wands. They want to go slow. This is why I feel like they want to take you on this journey. Because they want to use this opportunity to get to know you too. 
to really get to know you. This Knight of Pentacles is going to be putting in a lot of work, but it's going to be slow because they're still having to open up their heart to you, and so are you. Because look at here, this is both of you now. Because remember, we saw you no longer believe in love anymore, or you you've lost faith in love because maybe you've gotten your heart broken so many times. So both of your hearts could have been bruised, right? Both of your hearts could have gotten broken. So I feel like the both of you, yeah, see, here comes the message. Yep, see, look at that. There's going to be a message. But nevertheless, um, I feel like it's going to be of concern because <laughs> this person is so sure of themselves. <laughs> like, and, I, and what I mean by that is, like, they got money. They're really, like, a boss type of a person. But anyway, um, I feel like this person is going to want to go slow with you because they feel like you're worth it. And they want something long-lasting with you. So they're willing to put in the work. And seeing as though we saw the King of Wands that's coming through representing the energy of the person, uh, they typically typically can rush into things. You know, start relationships really fast and then lose interest really fast. That's not the case with this connection. This person wants to take their time with you, slow and steady. They, they're they willing to go to this through this journey with you because they're journeying back to love. We're seeing journey twice. And so I feel like... Uh, they're going to take you on the vacation, but this is making me feel like a long vacation across the world. That's what I'm getting here. And I feel like it's going to be of concern for you because it's going to come short notice. Let's see what, let's see why this message is going to be concerned. I want to get some more insight because I feel like it's just going to be like a short um, notice. Like, hey, like sending you a message on Monday. You think you can come with me on this trip? I'm leaving Friday. And you're going to be like, what? <laughs> And I'm also, to be honest with you guys, as I said that, and then I looked over, this is why you're going to be concerned too, because I also feel like after this um, slow and steady, I feel like after this trip, this person is going to know that they're going to want to marry you, that you're the one or they qual or you have the qualities. It says has the qualities of a good wife or good husband if you're a male watching the woman every man wants, or you're going to be with the woman that every man wants. Right. So that's what I'm getting here. Like this, um, I feel like it's going to be of concern because it's going to go from let's take things slow and go on this vacation together and get to know one another. And then this person realizes, like, I can't let you go. I want to marry you after that trip. Right. Let's see. What else? Message of concern. See, here it is. Page of Pentacles. I told you guys, shut the front door. I told you, here comes this offer. Let's go on a trip. Short notice. That's why it's the page coming through. <laughs> In the Knight of Pentacles, something big. You got, you're going from this Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. These are major um, offers that are serious. So this person is like, here, here's the Page of Pentacles. Here comes the gift. Can we go on a vacation? Can I, I'm giving you a gift. Here's the Knight of Pentacles. The gift is I want to take you on a journey. They're on the horse. So that's travel, right? So they do want to take you somewhere. And then, yeah, see the Knight of Pentacles, single. Some of you may um, be in a position where, that, where you can just get up and go too. Because maybe you have your own business, you work from home, or you have your own money, or you're, you're an entrepreneur. But I'm seeing here single and not having anything that could be holding you back. All right? Or you have vacation time. Some of you may have vacation time where you can just get up and go like that. But yeah, this message of concern is only going to be a concern to you because of the short moment of notice. And it's going to be a surprise. I feel like you're going to be like, this is just too good to be true. This flipped over. The world, Yeah, this is your world is about to be turned upside down. It, you know what they told me with that card, guys? Yep, you're about to be a star. See, the thing about this is this is not coming a, a across as something bad. This is coming across as the world being turned upside down, meaning that you're going to be going from being single, being on your own, to being in that two of cups. Like, your world is literally going to change. You know how I just... Uh, I can't think how to word it, but it's like how you go from just being... And like your life can change in um, in one minute or just in one moment's notice. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Like your life changing at a moment's notice. Going from being single to being married. Going from being um, 
paycheck to paycheck to being a millionaire. It's kind of like that type of a deal. Hold on, my battery. Yeah, it's kind of like that type of a deal. Where That's why we got a message of concern because it's like your world is being turned upside down. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, like these are serious offers. Like on a short moment's notice, go on this vacation with me. After the vacation, I thought I wanted to move things slow, but I just, I see you're a star. You're, I want to marry you. Going from being single to being married. Going from being childless to having being pregnant, going from being you know paycheck to paycheck to being a millionaire, going from living in one place to living someplace else. Like this is telling me things are going to be happening really fast, and you're going to be like, what is going on? What is this going on? But this is say finally you're about to get your blessing. Finally, you're about to get your blessing. Hope is not lost because remember we saw for your energy feeling hopeless. Your hope is about to be restored, Cancers. Yep, see the Ten Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is what you've been giving in love. And now here comes the blessing. Let's see where this is going. Where is this connection headed for Cancers and this person? This person, they're going to wait for you. Seven of Pentacles. It's headed towards waiting. And this is this person waiting. Yeah, I feel like healing. So it's headed towards someone waiting for someone to heal. What else? Um, yeah, see, waiting for someone to make a decision. Yeah, this is, I feel like, you. Because, again, you're not going to be sure if you can trust this. This seven of swords. This is someone that could have lied to you. And that does not erase that experience that you had with this person maybe this person lied and you're not like I don't know if I can trust you you're going to be going back and forth are you being honest are you telling the truth is this real that's what I said you're not going to be able to believe this yep see lovers you had they had you in a triangle so it's headed towards the opportunity is there but this person is going to have to wait for you to think about if you want to do this so while they're anxious you're fearful. You're hesitant. Where's this headed? Yep, see here, too, too good to be true. Your head in the clouds. Like, is this just wishful thinking? You know what I'm saying? Is this my reality? Is this really real? All these options being put before me, this person giving you so much. Like, because they're going to, these seven cups, they're trying to catch up to your eight cups. So they're going to be giving you multiple things. Multiple things taking you on a trip. I'm seeing here buying you jewelry or buying you something trying to buy you like they're going to be pulling out all the stops. Remember sweeping you off your feet. So I feel like it's headed towards confusion for you. Yeah, see you've been good on your own. Nine of Pentacles being single. Yeah, because you can't you like look what you did to me in the past. So I feel like you're not going to know what to do. You're going to be at a stalemate. So it's headed towards a stalemate. So where things ultimately go between you and this person is going to be up to you, Cancers. But let's ask the question, can this person be trusted to help with some of your, um, with what you think? Can this person be trusted for Cancer? Do they have good intentions towards Cancers? We got here, yes. Oh, two cards came out. Yes, twice. Oh my gosh. This is confirming everything we just got done talking about. Slow and steady. Didn't I tell you that that night of Pentacles? Some old fears still linger. This is for the both of you though. But they want to get to know you better. Don't rush it. Take your time. And then it says awaken. Second time we've seen awaken. They've done the work and want to take the leap of faith with love with you. They told you that at the very beginning of the reading. So they do have good intentions to help cut through any confusion that you may have. This person has good intentions. And the under our energy shows, they can't get you out of their head. Your memory haunts them. So, yeah. So it's headed towards waiting, but this waiting is going to be a result of this person waiting for you to decide if you want to give them another chance. All right, my beautiful Cancers, hope this gave you some clarity of the person that you're thinking of when watching this video. I wish you guys the best. Take care. Bye.